this is going to be my biggest adventure yet by far. We're in the middle of the Yukon wilderness here in Canada, 500 kilometers away from the Arctic Circle. We have a 360 to 375 kilometer trip ahead of us. We have 12 days to complete this trip. We have about 30 kilometers paddling on this lake before we get onto the next lake and then another lake after that, a little one, and then finally we'll get onto the Big Salmon uh, River proper. From there we have about 200 kilometers until we hit the mighty Yukon River and another 100 kilometers on the Yukon River itself. If you're new to the channel, my name is Esse, stick around and let's go on an epic adventure, guys. Thanks, rigged and ready for the rod. We're gonna try and catch some fish, let's do it. There are a lot of new uh, things happening for me on this trip, my first time camping in bear territory on my own. As you can see here, we have bear spray attached to one side and the knife on the other side. I'm not too worried about it, to be honest. I think I've got my head around it already and I'm, I feel pretty relaxed for now. Well, it's 5 p.m. I haven't really gone that far at all, but I see some gnarly clouds uh, over there and uh, over this side as well. Probably nothing, but I might stop here anyway because it looks like a beautiful spot. So at least I'll check it out. All right, so we have done a pathetic 1.6 kilometers since the start. That's it. Uh, not a great start today, but we didn't intend to cover much distance today anyway. It's about 5.30 p.m. here. That's about 1.30 in the morning in the UK and I'm feeling it. I, my body wants to shut down. No point pushing that. I'd rather get some sleep and consolidate here. We're gonna get camp set up. I'm gonna set up my solar panel as well to juice everything up as well, take advantage of the sun. Seems like the wind picked up all of a sudden. There are like white caps on the lake, so pretty good timing. I kind of want to camp out here to get nice breeze and away from the bugs. I did check out this area a little bit more. This is pretty, really nice spot here. I haven't seen any uh, bear pool or anything like that here, so seems okay to me. Little moss pool here, super dry, old. Most poop. The mosquitoes are coming out in full force, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna prepare for the worst. Nope, we're going back to the beach guys. This is when the wind dies the mosquitoes just cloud. Take your blood, take your blood, take your pig. Come on. Fill up buddy. Luckily when the sun comes out, the mosquitoes go out and uh, the flies come out, but I think it's better than the mosquitoes at the moment. So I'm gonna take advantage and go for a swim and cool down. It's pretty hot, so no time like the present.
keep that handy while I'm eating. In case, in case the bear likes my vegan stuff, I doubt it, but you never know. Mm, I'm pretty decent. I can see it. Come on, see. You have to trout. Oh, that's a big one. Don't shake the hook, don't shake the hook. I'm using a single barbless, so. No, 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 no. Don't shake it, don't shake it. Oh, 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 oh no, oh no, no, whoa, wow, that is a monster trout. Wow, what a Look at this guy. Oh, oh my gosh. That's a beautiful trout. Wow. Mwah. Wow. Look at this, guys. What a beautiful fish. Alright, let's put him back. Let's put him back. Oh, that makes me so happy. What a beautiful fish. That's just amazing. Wow, what an experience. Yes. Caught that beauty on the Rigged and Ready uh, X5 uh, rod. And I'm using the Rigged and Ready also uh, lure. It's a spoon, it's a 20 gram, quite heavy spoon with a single barbless hook. I'm on to another one, everybody. Come on, fishy. Come on, fish. Oh, is he off? Oh no. I think I lost him. Oh no. He's. Oh. oh. Damn. Oh man. No. Little one. Oh, it's a grayling. Oh, he's off. No. <laughs> oh, that was a grayling. Damn. Grayling went for this 20 gram lure, man. Oof. I reckon if I downsize a little bit. There it is. Downsized. Uh, this is a 5 gram. The other one was a 20 gram. And it's a silver. Same shape. Let's try it. Oh, he's chasing. He's chasing. Come on. He's chasing. <laughs> oh, he came right up to the shore. Chasing! Oh, come on, come on, come on! Oh, he chased again. He's right there. All right, got one, got one, got one. That's a great link. Yes, that's a great link.
Good job, buddy. It is 10.30 p.m. and the sun is just going down now. Wow. Oops. Time for bed. Morning everybody, it's about 4.22 a.m. and I can't sleep anymore. Better get going then, we have a big day ahead, lots of paddling, long distance to cover today, so let's go. Just finishing breakfast and I wanted to show you the supplements I brought on this trip to stay healthy and uh, energized. I have 12 days worth of uh, turmeric, uh, B12 and vitamin D and here greens like all mix of uh, broccoli, celery powder, spinach powder, kale. This is really good for anti-inflammatories and uh, yeah really boosts your immune system. The combination of all these doesn't taste the best but it's really good for you so worth the sacrifice cheers we're getting the fishing rod oh, good. 6 30 a.m and we are off today it's gonna have to be a progress day because we didn't do much yesterday so that means today we got to do a lot. This whole section now is flat water, so that's going to take a while. And that helpful tailwind that we had yesterday has turned into a very, very light headwind. Nothing major, but it will slow us down significantly. We have to go all the way to the end. There and around. 20 kilometers at least. Alright everybody, it's 9am 
and uh, this is a slug. This is a real slug. Yesterday, the driver gave me the option to drop me off either in the uh, southern campsite or the northern. I chose the south one so I would have a longer distance. Uh, but in doing that, I added 20 kilometers of flat water paddling. I think that's okay. I think I can make up this time on the river once I'm there in a day or two. But currently, I'm kicking myself a little for adding that 20 kilometers of flat water. No, not as bad as I thought. I believe we did almost nine kilometers, which is actually not bad. Today's a day of endurance, slow, steady progress. Gonna just keep at it the whole day, try and make really good progress. For now, we'll take a rest. Need this one. <laughs> I know we have to make progress, but this area looks really fishy and I have to try. If you're wondering, I'm using a braid line, uh, 15 pound, which is still really thin. I think the diameter is only uh, 0.12 centimeters. So it's like half the diameter of a uh, fluoro. So you can cast it way further and still maintain strength, which is great. And it has no memory, so it's working quite well. Fish, fish, fish on baby, fish on, Ooh. fish on. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, shoot, where's my net? Oh, he's off, damn, he's off. Man, I gotta learn how to play these fish better. Time to try the paddle tail. just want to make it to uh, that point over there looks so close it's three kilometers away just gotta keep plugging away little by little and the kilometers will add up you know All right, so this is a new for me. I gave in on this trip with a little bit of luxury and I brought my chair. On such a long trip, I think it's essential to give your back a rest. That didn't take long and... Oh, so worth it. Oof. Oh yeah, oh that's nice. Time to stretch the back once again. One more break and we continue. 3.20 p.m. We started moving around 6, 6.20. So that's nine hours on the move. 
so far. It's gonna be a long day. On our way, but there's a little stream there and I can't resist. I gotta cast into it, see what's lurking in there. Let's do it. Hey, hey. Come on. No, he's off. Oh man, what's, what's going on today? Alright, gotta keep moving. Let's go guys. I hear another stream. We are approaching the stream and the hopes are running very high. Perfect setup for massive disappointment. Oh, I got a bite there. I got a bite. Okay, fifth time lucky. Yes, fish on baby. Come on. That's a grayling. That's a good size grayling. Where's my net? Where's my net gone? Whoa, that's what a beautiful fish. Woo! Woo! Okay, buddy. Okay, okay, okay. What do we say? We eat this guy or, or let him go? I don't feel like eating him. I want to release him. Okay, this fish. Oh. Let's put him back, eh? Okay, buddy, you can go home when you're ready. Beautiful fish. It's an old burn here. You can see the trees there that have been burned. And this whole area has been burned down. A new growth is on its way. How beautiful is that fireweed? Fire burns down the trees and then the fireweed comes out and from the ashes to vibrant color and hope. So beautiful. Confirming with my GPS here, can you, you can see clearly that we are already in that in that main area, in that big hump there. So that's good news. I have four kilometers left, I believe, to the end of the lake. This area looks fishy. Okay, so the creek was tiny. Not much action going on there. But there's a nice uh, deeper hole here, we're still gonna try. Really wish you guys could smell this right now. Smell of the fresh alders. It's amazing, beautiful smell. Even with my blocked nose, I can smell it. <laughs> All right guys, too much interesting stuff going on here. There's a creek over here, and then some camping spots potentially, and then there's a cabin. So it's this creek over here. That's that. So we're gonna try fish it. Right in that place. Ooh. Got a take there. Oh, got a fish. Yes, sir. Got one. That's a grayling. Hey. Awesome. Alright buddy, alright. All right. Okay, okay, okay. Here, here. Shh, shh, shh. There you go. It's okay, it's okay buddy. There you go. Off you go. Yep, the creek's the liver, for sure. And I think I can see the cabin across there. Let's go check it out. And then let's find camp. It's uh, 7 p.m. Oh, that's pretty spooky, eh? 
Mmm, broken windows. That's so spooky, man. Yep, has to be done. We have to go inside. <clears throat> bear spray. And let's go. Hey, bear, if you're in there, this is a good time to come out. I don't want to scare you or startle you. Spooky. Mosquitoes are eating me alive. Oh, it's actually really lovely. <laughs> Feels super cozy. This stove. Look at this painting here. So nice, moose. Okay. Thing on my hand at the same time on my face. Ah! Oh! Okay. Let's get out of here. Oh man, the mosquitoes are terrible right now. Pretty bad. Ah! Itchy, itchy, itchy. They're getting me. Oh! Ah! So you just close your hand and, and you, you catch them in between your fingers, you know? I'm not feeling the spooky haunted cabin vibes at the minute, so I'd rather find a, a different spot. <laughs> okay, time for a camp for sure. A sight like that. Oh! Son of a bitch, you're killing me, man. Yup. Oh, I'm gonna put my gloves on as well because my hands are just getting destroyed by them. Mosquito time. Mosquito time. Check this out guys, this is where the flow begins. Exciting. There's already flow actually. I can I'm already being sucked into there. So cool, yay! And we're gonna change the paddles because this is very shallow, so either tail change for plastic. <laughs> Wow, super shallow here. Oh, this is so beautiful, guys. Absolutely gorgeous here right now. Fish jumping in the river. Mosquitoes eating me alive. But look at this. Stunning. You know how good it feels to be moving this fast with this little effort after such a long day of paddling for like 13 hours or something? Going like two and a half three kilometers an hour and now we're going like I don't know five or six seven without doing anything wow makes it all worth it this is gorgeous man well I think I missed my camp I've gone too far now. Oh man. Oh dear. I'm getting close to Sandy Lake now. Whoops, I need to stop. I'm exhausted. Need to find a camp somewhere and stop. That was cool. What was that? A little beaver or a little um was it an otter or a little beaver? It was so small. It's 8 p.m. and I've overly committed now to the next campsite. Three kilometers that way. I mean, three more kilometers at this stage. Let's just do it. So we came from a uh, quiet lake on this little river here and we're kind of here in Sandy Lake. It says potential campsite here, but that's what that looks like. And that is going to be not good for camping. So. Instead, I'm going to commit to this that says good camp and that looks really interesting. It's like a little peninsula sticking out. So, look. oh yes, a loon. The reflections on the water, wow. I'm hurting now, my back is kidding me. Oh. 
I saw one salmon, big torpedo, like this big, swimming uh, under the water. And I, I think they're feeding and they're splashing like mad. They're making so much noise that I thought they were, um, they were beavers. They came all the way from the Pacific, from Alaska, through Alaska for probably around 2,000 miles to be here. So pretty incredible. Yes, bald eagle. Bald eagle just flew. Oh my gosh. What a way to welcome to camp. That's the first time I've seen a bald eagle. That's so cool. Oh man. Yes. So salmon, I saw the bald eagle already and we're here at camp after absolute knockout of a day. Feels great though. It feels great to put a good day of uh, working. Good to be here. Let's set up camp and uh, relax and enjoy this magical place. We have it all to ourselves. If you can see that, 8.52 p.m. Been a long day, but what a rewarding day has been. Wow. This has to be one of the best days ever. I mean, so rewarding. I doubted myself that I could cover this distance on flat water and I killed it. Look at this campsite as well. Look at this spot though. Absolutely amazing. The temperature has dropped now, so the mosquitoes and biting insects are gone. Let's set up camp, get some food on, change clothes, I'm wet. Now it's starting to get a bit cold. And uh, enjoy the fruits of our labor. Spoke too soon about the mosquitoes. They're still they're eating me alive. Man. Oh, get off me. Good to be here though. Definitely spoke too soon regarding the bugs. They're still here. It's okay. I brought this, so use really little. It's just my hands getting killed here. Freaking heck, they're getting me through the net as well, through my clothes. Today it's a uh, squash and sweet corn casserole. Oh, I got a cramp in my foot. Ah, that's horrible. <laughs> ah, ow, ouch, whoo, painful. So we did. 31 and a half kilometers today, guys. Pretty much all of it was in flat water except a couple kilometers on that river. So absolutely crushed it. Really good progress. It's 10.20 right now, guys, what an incredible day. Uh, I'm gonna scramble now to set up camp and organize all the gear, put the food away and brush my teeth and go to bed. I'm completely exhausted. Uh, I leave you with the time-lapse, guys, and I'll see you tomorrow for more adventure. Good night. Morning everybody, it's day three here in the Yukon wilderness. So yesterday I completely passed out from all that paddling. 
I got into camp quite late. I ended up falling asleep around 11.20 within a couple minutes of uh, lying down. So it's about 7 a.m. right now. The mosquitoes yesterday were absolutely relentless. I have over 100 bites for sure. Despite all that, I wouldn't want to be anywhere else right now. So we're here in Sandy Lake. The plan today is to paddle onto the river, paddle onto Big Salmon Lake. After Big Salmon Lake, we have a interesting part that requires a lot of attention here. It's marked as a uh, log jams and um, log piles. That could be very dangerous. We have to be careful and portage if necessary and be really alert not to get dragged into it. It's exactly 10 o'clock. Not feeling too hot about leaving so late, but hey, it is what it is. Let's get a moment. Start the day. Let's go. I gotta say this paddle from uh, Bending Branches here. This is the beaver tail. Absolutely love it. Done really easy work of the flat water. My shoulder's not hurting at all. No strain at all. Really cuts through the water. Very efficient, super light. Thank you, Bending Branches. I really love it. Thank you so much. Mwah. and bald eagle of the trip. There he is. Oh, two. One displaced the other. How cool is that? So beautifully quiet. What a feeling. All right, we made it to Big Salmon Lake, our third and last lake of the trip. After this lake, it will be all river travel, mostly on the Big Salmon and then joining up with the mighty Yukon River itself. This feeling of being in such a vast, beautiful, untouched, unspoiled place. So pure, it's like a spiritual feeling almost. Oof, what a special place to be in. There's no one here at all.
so beautiful. Let's keep going. Guys, I gotta give you a 360. Check this out. Just gonna have some lunch. My avocados are spoiling quickly, so avocado is gonna be for lunch and dinner. <laughs> also, uh, picking the worst tomatoes, the ones that are kind of going soft. Yummy. Once we paddle, we turn that beautiful energy into electricity. All right, 2 p.m. The winds picked up a little bit from the southeast, which is helping us push further north. And now we're trying to find where the outlet for this uh, big salmon lake is. Then we get onto the big salmon proper. In the first section, there's a lot of log jams and log piles, sweepers and strainers, so plenty of hazards there. Things are gonna get interesting from here. Let's go. Something about the river is like very captivating. You're wondering what's gonna be around the next corner and there's a little bit of fear, a little bit of unknown, keeps you on your toes and uh, makes you respect the water a lot more. Now, for this section of the trip, I've changed to my uh, Bending Branches Explorer Plus. Uh, this is gonna give me more power. I will need the power potentially to get out of trouble out of a tricky situation, I might want to draw really aggressively to one side or, you know, back paddle or brace or something. So this is the perfect paddle for that. Oh, there's a cabin. Let's try and break out. Yes. Constrictor or not, tie my canoe. Don't want that flowing out. That is gorgeous, man. No way, this is gorgeous. We're going to explore, but I forgot my bear spray, so let's go get it. So this is uh, Franz Six's grave, 1953 to 1993. Short life, 40 years, but imagine living in a place like this. Wow, look at that food cache over there. Look at the cabin, so beautiful. Look at these tools. Very cool. Hello. Wow, the insulation from the wood. It's hot outside and it's super, super cool. Like 10 degrees uh, colder here. This kitchen area with shelves. How gorgeous, look at the roof. Man, this is done to perfection. What a skilled guy. Look at the bench. Gorgeous bench. I imagine that's the bed right there. Now that's a good base for a stove. Not messing around. Look at the amount of rocks lifted off the floor, metal. That is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. That's just amazing. What a place to live, what a beautiful spot. Right on the edge of the big salmon. That is so clever. Look at that notch. Wow, perfect fit. Just pull it out. And then to close it, just jams perfectly in there. Can't open it. Well done. Hello, Mr. Bear. Coming through, Mr. Bear. Hey, you're not a bear. Looks to be like the remains of a smoker, potentially. Oh, it's really overgrown here. Well, the mosquitoes are killing me and that's as far as I'm going. Oh, get off, get off, get off, get off. Yep, I'm going up. Awesome. Okay, come down before I kill myself. What an amazing, impressive individual he must have been to uh, do all this and living off the land like that, having that food cache so he could sustain himself through the seasons. All right, buddy, rest in peace and uh, 
thank you for letting me see your cabin it's absolutely wonderful you did great back to the river let's go oh i got killed by the bugs there man oh in one second they got me so opportunistic mosquitoes man damn Watch out for stuff like that. As innocent as it looks, it can get you into a lot of trouble. Hazard number one. You can see very quickly, river's pushing you, pushing you, pushing you. Straight into danger. This would make a big mess, let me tell you. Nope. Uh, maybe I can line the canoe up to here well I'm gonna try to straggle over yes success love avoiding a portage There's a sweeper there, sweeper coming up. No, no, no. Oh, got away with that. Oh, no good control there. Beautiful, but another log jam. I think there's a way to avoid the portage. I don't want to take my stuff out. The plan is get in the canoe here and paddle quite aggressively across that uh, flow, which is trying to push me into there. Over there, there's a little gap. Okay, not the most elegant, but pretty effective. Another one ahead, this one's pretty big. This looks dodgy, man. Look at that. Massive log pile all over the whole river. See what's going on here. This is probably where I should have taken out. What happens after though? Nasty, 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 nasty log pile that one is. Let's get the canoe into this eddy, then line it into here, and then uh, from there we'll portage. Okay. Not the prettiest, but effective again. Into this eddy.
freaking big log jam and I think we uh, negotiated that quite well. Now let's go with caution because I can't see much further ahead. Clear channel over here. Nice. Yes sir. Just as I was lining that last bit, I caught a whiff, a disgusting, really stinky whiff of animal, you know? And I was like, uh-oh. There's gotta be some kind of bear or moose or something close by. Definitely got my attention. One hand with the canoe and the other hand with the bear spray. <laughs> oh man. And I can see another log jam, I think. To my delight. Yes, I think we will take a double, triple, quadruple portion of log jumps today. Thank you. Trip there. How far we can go like this? So many. I don't think it was like this a few years ago. I think it's gonna be a pretty bad year for log jumps. I think I need to be on river right because somebody's clearly marked it with a helmet or something blue. I don't think I can paddle upstream. The current's too strong, so better I walk it. Five times. From ferry to river right. Let's go. Okay. This one's a straight portage. Let's go. Okay, one of many. Oh, yeah, the mosquitoes are terrible. Oh. I guess it continues, I don't know. Oh boy, mosquitoes. All right, batch number one of like three or four maybe. The kicker is that this canoe doesn't have a yoke. Either I'm gonna have to drag it all the way through or try and balance it on my head. Does the camera show the mosquitoes? I don't, I really don't know. It's pretty much full of them. Maybe not, not a lot for Jim Baird, but a lot for SE Adventure, I can tell you that. Uh, the wind's picked up a lot actually, and the clouds look a little bit menacing. Would not be a good time for rain or a, or a storm, let me tell you. Round two. Oh, fuck's sake. Oh. Yeah, that's better. Stuff to trip you, super easy to trip. It started to rain. Oh, <laughs> All right, it is what it is. Just gonna deal with it. Oh dear. I think a storm's coming. Must be a storm coming, eh? Where am I gonna camp here? Nowhere. Oh, <laughs> I don't want my to fly away. My life jacket. That's not flying away, but I'll attach it to something. Oh boy.
the winds come down so I don't mind the rain what scared me was the wind because losing control in the canoe in the river is not a good thing so but the winds come down now so I'm gonna make a move and see if I can find a, a camp I'm just gonna have to stop if the conditions don't improve then I'll, I'll have to stop and set up camp a little squeeze there might be all you squeeze You may be wondering if I'm enjoying myself right now. The answer is yes, actually. I came for the challenge to get outside the comfort zone. I knew it was gonna be tough. I'm embracing it. Soon enough, we'll be at camp. I'll be dry. I'll have something nice to eat. And this will be a moment of pride. Sometimes you just gotta embrace the suck. We have a bit of a situation in that I just checked the weather forecast. Tomorrow it says it's gonna be a nice day, but then the next day and the next day after that and the next day after that and the next day after that, it looks like rain uh, with potential thunderstorms for two of those days as well. So either the weather forecast is completely wrong or I'm gonna have really bad weather ahead for a large portion of my trip which means that I better start making more progress. The river kind of braids as well sometimes, so it's very hard to uh, know where you are. At the moment, I don't really know where I am. Mm. Ay, ay, ay. 61 degrees, 21 minutes. 61 degrees, 21 minutes. Somewhere here, yeah. Okay, I know where I am, but I'd like, I'd like to be further along. I don't know what to do now. All right, everyone, it is 6 p.m. I think my game plan is to paddle till 9 p.m. I need to push while I can. That's a big log pile. What the hell? No. No, why is this blocked as well? Shouldn't be. That way is blocked, that way is blocked. Let's see how we can get around this. So the river's supposed to meander way around. In the map that's free, but clearly not. At least not this year, not for me. So that is all massively blocked. Here I am with my bug net. I can't see man. That's the problem that you're trying to see properly, you're trying to see things well and just how to get through. This whole thing's choked. The mosquitoes are relentless man. In the sun, in the cloud, in the rain, in the wind. Oh man, what a day. I'm so tired. This is exhausting. These log jumps are absolutely exhausting. And then somehow we gotta get through this bit, but hopefully we'll be fine.
still have to do that bit. The log jump can still win, to be fair, so I shouldn't celebrate. Could be another log pile by the way. I don't know. One log jump too many, eh? All the way through. And there I am. You know what? That over there looks like a great tent spot. It's getting late, I'm tired. Errors could compound. I know I need to progress more, but I think I'd rather get a good sleep, rest, and make up for the time tomorrow. Tackling this right now in my stage is an accident waiting to happen, so let's set up camp. The kit's in a rough shape here. Everything is wet, muddy, my poor chair. There's a bald eagle right there. How cool is that? It is there. There's actually two. Number one there. Number two there. I'm probably not too happy about my camping location, but we're gonna have to share guys, I come in peace. All right, everybody, it's been a super long day, but a very rewarding one nonetheless. I'm uh, absolutely exhausted. I'm not sure how many kilometers I done today, but I'll put the number somewhere here. We'll hit it hard tomorrow, try and progress quite a lot and uh, hit this um, portage here in the morning, first thing. So smoke is helping with the bugs. Nice to finally be able to breathe without a net on the face time to go to sleep i will thoroughly uh, put the fire out with tons of water after just to make sure uh, in the safest way and with that good night and i'll see you tomorrow for day four
Have these uh, like gardening gloves that I brought these are just not cutting it I'm getting killed look see the mosquitoes around this area look oh these are solid man that guy's trying it you're not getting through that mate that's leather it's a mosquito fest guy oh yeah that is a problem if that comes off that will be a lot of mosquitoes over the next nine ten days so yes yes Yes, sir. There we go. Good as new. Trusty Leatherman for the win. We gotta pack up, crab, have some breakfast, and get this portage out of the way. Put in a big day today. Need to start upping my calories. This meal has 800 calories, so that's a good start. That's how I have to eat. I have to force myself. I gotta eat it all. I need the calories, man, so. Mmm, yum. I think I'm gonna do it like four times and I'm gonna have to get the canoe without a yoke up on my head somehow. <laughs> Mosquitoes everywhere, man. Oh boy, okay, let's go back. Dare I say it, but it's almost like the bugs are becoming such a constant that I'm becoming quite normalized with it. I'm becoming a bit more Canadian by the day. Yeah. Oh, that's uncomfy. Yeah. Okay. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, that sucks. Can't get it on my shoulders. Oh, 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 oh. oh man. What a difference a yoke brings. Ah. Go! Bye! Oh, that feels good to be on water! Woohoo! Okay, what time are we going? 8.30 Epic nest, look at that. Circling back to the nest. It's all right, buddy. You're safe now. Absolutely full of uh, woodpeckers here. Gorgeous, I've seen about 10 in one minute. 
flying across the river. Beautiful. Such a beautiful day today. The sun's out, so I'm gonna make the most of it and set the solar panel up in the front. That should give me enough juice to charge a whole uh, drone and top up my power bank. This beaver tail has been the star of the show so far. This canoe is also quite a fast canoe and quite responsive, so this paddle doesn't overpower the canoe, if that kind of makes sense. All right, 10 kilometers down. I think the fact that this land has been pretty much in this exact state for thousands of years, is a special feeling. Not a single sign of intervention with nature at all. And it's beautiful and pure. Amazing Yukon wilderness. <laughs> creek is so beautiful oh yeah it feels significantly colder than the river this is definitely from snow melt you can feel it it's gorgeous I, I'm not filtering this the taste is also better than the river you can taste the difference this is absolutely pure man wow time for fishing it's gotta be a fish here I'm using the uh, X5 rigged and ready rod. The great thing about this rod is very versatile. You can use like heavier lines and uh, lighter lines. So it comes also with a secondary spool. And I spooled this before at home with a six pound fluorocarbon. This is more delicate, so a little bit less uh, visible. So I'm gonna change the spools and see if we can catch ourselves a fish. Let's do it. I like to use a swivel so the line doesn't tangle and it doesn't create too much memory and a snap here so I can change the lure. Should I go in? Should I not go in? Ah, uh, screw it. Woohoohoo! <laughs> Cannonball! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh man. Oh, I'm such a child. Ah, oh, feels so good. Yes. Look at that. Crystal clear. Amazing. Alright, gonna change into dry clothes because it's freaking cold now <laughs> and uh, let these dry out as I canoe the rest of the day. Alright, here's my watch. Left it in the water to measure the the temperature, seven degrees. Literally melted from snow and by the time it gets here, it's picked up a little bit of heat. That's our starter. And then for the main, some noodles. He's so cute. He's tiny. Hey little guy. Wanna eat from my hand? See if you can, oh no. Oh no. Oh man, it almost hurts me how sick this campsite is. Look at this. You got a little fire right over the water. 
with Sheep's Creek right there. And even the ground is good quality for staking tents and stuff. Ideal for a small tent. Actually doing quite well. I think we've done about 20 kilometers already, which is almost as much as we did the whole of yesterday. So just to put things into perspective, how long log jams can take. They can take the whole day. All right, off we go. So I don't know what that is. I don't know if that's smoke from a wildfire or if it's like light rain. I don't think it's rain. I want to get at least 40 kilometers today. At least. This bit's getting lovely. And faster as well, a lot faster. Beautiful. Man, we are flying. I just heard thunder. I was about to change from my bugs into my sunwear. Yikes. Yep, I just heard thunder for a second time. What can we do? Just continue on, I guess, for now. No, it's not looking too good that sky and I keep hearing the thunder but I'm gonna find the next place to stop I think I don't like the look of this I don't like the look of this she's giving me plenty of warning so I'm going to listen well I improvised a little shelter quickly uh, just in case I think maybe the, the storm is actually passing on the side, skirting us. I can hear it. I don't know, maybe I spoke too soon. Maybe this little shack is not gonna hold. <laughs> I wish I would have brought my DD tarp. It's a square tarp and uh, this is for the hammock. I just don't know how the heck to set it up. What's going on, you ask? I'm sitting in my terrible shelter eating a cucumber. I'm gonna give the storm a little more chance to decide if it's gonna happen or not. Screw it, let's make a move. It's sun's a little bit out. Not sure about that. It's iffy, but that shelter sucks, so we might as well keep moving. And if we have to stop again, we stop again and do a proper shelter. Crazy weather, threatening storm. A little bit of sun now. I'm gonna try and advance as much as possible now. I think there's smoke from uh, some wildfires. I can't smell it, so it's clearly very, very faint and really, really far away. But enough to give the whole sky a kind of, uh, like a haze, you know? Hey, welcome to MTV Cribs. I uh, just want to show you my humble abode here in the wilderness of Yukon. In the front here we have our drying area followed by the panic area. Bug jacket, bear spray, you know, gloves, that kind of thing. We have navigation uh, room here. And followed by, this is quite an interesting area, we have more drying facilities. And our power generation unit is also here at the back. We're charging a drone and we're charging our power bank as well. Last but not least, we have our trusty fishing rod over here. Thanks for coming to Caribs Yukon Edition and uh, I will see you on the next one. Over and out. Whoa! Okay, day four. I have lost my mind. It has officially happened. Welcome to uncharted territory, my friend. Paddle all along, paddle all along. Paddle the big salmon, paddle along. I am so grateful for this weather. Baby shark, baby shark, bear shark, bear shark, where are you? I haven't seen anybody since the first day on Quiet Lake. Clearly, psychologically, I'm doing great. GoPro, stop recording.
Okay, last thing I'll say and then I'll shut up for a bit. So I noticed that I have a lot more energy today and I think it has to do with the amount of food that I've eaten. That and I had two coffees today, so that, you know, that also helps probably. All right, there's a little creek here. I just paddled across the whole thing, so I probably scared all fish away, but I'm trying to make Jim proud here and fish every possible creek that I can, so let's give it a shot. Catch me a fish. Come on, fishy. You know, guys, speaking of uh, Jim Baird, they say don't meet your heroes, but I know he's gonna be an awesome guy if I ever get to meet him. Jim, if you're watching this, I'm here because of you, man. Thank you for the inspiration. Tiny one has to be fished. This time, stealth mode from the canoe. Oh, that was a good cast. Right in the money. Any takers, any takers, any offers, any bid at all. Oh, fish, yes. Yes, baby, little one. Oh, a little grayling. Awesome. Oh, okay. Oh, but, oh, okay. Bye. <laughs> He's gone. There he is. Yeah, woohoo! That was a beauty. Do we have to go under it, you ask? No, but it would be a lot funner if we did. Here we go. Oh, perfect. When the mosquitoes are gone, this is like paradise, man. I haven't had any bugs in like the last two, three hours or more so grateful for that it's just such a pleasant experience tree's about to fall just kidding just want to take a one minute to um express how grateful i am for being here i have an incredibly supportive wife and family that understand what i need and understand what brings the best out of me nikki if you're watching this i love you and thank you for making this possible I feel something brewing in the air with, in terms of weather. The winds kind of changed, the temperatures dropped a little bit. I'm gonna start ready to find the campsite if needed. It is 6.40 p.m. I wanna cover more distance today, uh, given the conditions are pretty good and there's some potential for thunderstorms in the next few days. Maybe they don't play out, but if they do, I don't wanna be kicking myself that I didn't push when I had the chance. Having said that, the wind's blowing hard now and I don't know what it is about this place. It makes you feel like something's always about to come to you, you know? Hmm. Starting to rain a little bit. Uh, I don't want to chance it, it's 7 p.m. So we're gonna camp here. I like it, it's gonna be home. I think there was a bear moving across this place. Some tracks, look at the size of that. That's a big boy. Look how deep it goes. Look at the impression. I don't think you can see the, the claw, so I think it's a black bear, right? One, two, three, four, five. I think this guy was walking that way, away. So maybe I should camp that way. <laughs> moose, moose, I believe moose. Look at that big boy. This looks like quite a frequented little highway that they got going on, so I think I'm gonna let them be and find myself another camp spot maybe chances are it's the same right they're around if i can avoid any uh any conflict i will i heard a ma massive thunder as well oh the mosquitoes are coming it's that time of day 
Just across from our uh, bare neighbor here, we have another potential beach right here. Oh, look at this. And it's sandy for the tent. That is perfect right there. Yep, more, uh, <laughs> more prints. These animals live here. Of course, they're gonna go past. Look at this. <laughs> that looks like a moose track. It's more thin. Yeah, two. Look at all, like the hooves, right? That's a moose. Not a bad view, eh? Beautiful. And this little guy here has the claws perfectly. Unmistakable, yeah? Look at this. The paw. One, two, three, four. And the claws, you can see them. Very distinct. Alright guys, absolutely pooped. It is quarter to eight. Uh, it feels a lot later. I'm all sweaty and sticky uh, from setting up camp and hauling the canoe and so I'm I'm beat. I'm beat. I'll put the, the distance that I covered here today and tomorrow is a new day full of adventure. So with that, I will see you guys tomorrow. Good night.